Before we start this video, I would like to, like to take a moment to say thanks to all my patrons. I wouldn't be able to keep making these videos and keep my channel alive without you, so thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all your support. I'd also like to say thanks to Richter and Joshua for their tier 3 sub this month, and special thanks to James Williams Bonds for his tier 4 sub this month. I've always wanted to release a multiplayer game for PC, so I've decided to create a 3D multiplayer zombie survival game. And yes, I know, I know, there are tons of zombie games out there, but I wanted to create something that I think is fun to play, so that I'll stay motivated throughout the development. The first thing I did was to create a new 3D project in Unity, and of course I also needed to find the perfect title. I then imported some 3D models I was going to use as placeholders for the zombies and the player. I then added the player to the scene and then I was ready to create the best zombie game in the world. Thank you, thank you all so very much. Okay, maybe not the greatest game in the world, but hopefully a good game. I knew from the get-go that I wanted to use root motion to move my character. So I went to Mixamo.com to get some animations. When I was done finding all the animations that I needed, I started to set them up in the player's animator. The finished setup ended up looking like this. When I was done with the setup, I went in and created a player script that took input from the vertical and the horizontal axis and passed it on to the animator. While testing, I quickly found out that this wasn't going to work. The moment felt clunky and slow, and I wasn't able to blend the animations together. I was only able to walk straight forward, straight back, and straight to left and straight right. Because of this, I had to start over. I knew that I needed to use a blend tree to get the desired performance, so I started setting up a blend tree that had all the animations for walking forward and backward. The first iteration of the blend tree ended up looking like this. I was way happier with this performance because now I was able to move diagonally and blend the animations together. However, I still wasn't 100% satisfied with this performance because I still got some weird movements when I moved in one direction and then started moving in the opposite direction right after. I decided that I wanted to wait with the fine tuning of the animator and jump straight into adding the run animations. After the animations were added to the animator, I went into the player script and wrote some simple code for making the player run when pressing shift. The results were okay but it wasn't really what I expected it to be. And besides the jerky movement I wasn't able to run while strafing. So I decided not to let the vertical and the horizontal axis have full responsibility over my animations. Instead, I created a new variable called Momentum, Rotation and Acceleration to handle the animations. I also created a method that could increase and decrease these values. After this fix, I was very happy with the result. I was able to run in all directions and I was also able to blend all the movement together. And then I realized that it was time. It was time to let my character take her first steps on solid ground. I added a plane as ground, and then I gave her a rigid body and a capsule collider. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. So, note to self, always remember to freeze the X, Y and Z axis when working with humanoid characters and root motion. After I froze X, Y and Z, the character was able to run on the ground without tipping over and flying in the air. The next thing I wanted to do was to make sure that I could turn the player 360 degrees by using the mouse. So in other words, I want the player to be able to look at the mouse so that I could turn him while running and walking and all those things. I haven't done that in 3D before, but I've done it in 2D lots of times, and I think it shouldn't be that hard to do in 3D. Six and a half hours later. Okay, uh, so I'm kind of frustrated right now. This took me half a day to figure out, um, but I finally got it working after searching forums, trying hundreds of different things that partially worked and didn't work correctly as I wanted to. But finally, I have something that works that will make the player turn around and look at the mouse. So as you can see right here, it finally works as intended. Next I wanted to do something I knew how to do. I wanted to add some aim and some shoot animation for a rifle and a gun. 
So the first thing I did was to create an avatar mask and then I started setting up the animator. After the animator was set up, I wrote some very simple code for enabling these new animations. When I was done writing the code, I tested it out in the editor and I was very happy with the result. I was able to aim and shoot while running, standing still and turning around. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did then please don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get notified next time I upload a video. And that is it for this vlog, thank you very much for watching.